Hi, this is James from Square Internet with another WordPress tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a custom WooCommerce product page using Divi. I'm creating this video as uh, an addition to the blog post I've just written about it. So hopefully you'll find this helpful if you prefer to learn via videos or maybe um, you just need a bit more detailed info than I've put in the blog post which is more of an overview so I'm going to walk you through the process of recreating what we see here uh, the beanie product that I've customized using Divi so I'm going to do that on um, this product here the cap the same steps that I uh, walked through to customize the beanie so I'm going to walk you through the basics of using the Divi Visual Builder to customize the WooCommerce product page visually without any code. And hopefully you find it useful. I might throw in one or two more things from the blog post, but let's get started now and I can show you visually how to actually customize the product page using Divi. So as with the, the blog post tutorial, the first thing that you want to do is to load up a, a product page on your Divi store and then enable the visual builder by clicking the button here. So what we're looking at now, we've got exactly the same page, but the Divi visual builder is activated as you can see from the, uh, the purple button here. So now we can begin actually customizing the template that the single product will use. This won't actually change the template for all of the single products on the website, but this is how you build the template that can then be applied to your single products. So when I was uh, making the tutorial, I wanted to make it as simple as possible. So I just wanted to change this design, which is a bit inconsistent to something that was consistent and simple. So I basically went for, um, you know, just um, black and gray colors, make sure the fonts all matched up. And I uh, cut down the related products from uh, three columns to two. So I'll do that now. As I mentioned in the, um, the actual tutorial post, um, what you want to be looking for when you're editing is uh, this dark gray box here. And you want to hover over it until you can see module settings. You want to make sure that you're not um, you know, editing the, the whole section or the row. Um, here, yeah, this is in a row. So if you want to edit this box, you need to actually be hovering over the module. All of this stuff is broken down into modules. Um, for instance, I'll show you if I click module settings, WooCart, not, WooCart notice settings module, as this is referred to in uh, Divi. So yeah, once again, you want to hover over the bit you want to edit on the page and you want to click into module settings. And there's usually three uh, tabs, content design and advanced. So on this section, I want to um, change the, uh, the background color to gray. I'm just trying to find the gray color I used. Uh, if I do this, I should see it. Should let me grab the color. Sometimes this doesn't work. Okay, yep. So I want to change the background color of this, which I think is in design. Oh no, it's in content net. So I'm just gonna click into backgrounds, add a background color, and that's gonna update. Nice and simple, but then as you can see, my text can't really see the text, so I'm just going to go into the design tab, text, uh, and I also want to set the text to Source Sans Pro across this whole um, design so that it's consistent. And now I'm going to change the text color using this text color section so you can actually see the text. So that was nice and easy. Um, this is almost done now, as you can see, we just need to update the button now, the view basket button. 
Um, I don't think I did much there apart from... Um, oh, one other thing I want to do is to change the font size. Uh, I want to use 16 pixels. Uh, you have to enable custom styles for the button to override um, the default styles, which I've just done. And I'm going to set the font size to 16. Going to set that to black. Uh, and I think that's, yeah, that's basically all I did. So there's that section done. And then we need to click the tick to ensure the changes are saved. And as you can see, that was really simple, really straightforward. Uh, it's really easy to um, change stuff visually using the Divi Visual Builder. And you can actually see it all happening in real time, which is really cool. And so now I'm going to move on to the next section, just moving logically down the page. I've got the um, the product image here. And once again, I need to go over the, the dark gray box into the module settings. And all I want to do here at the moment is to... Um, make the sale badge just match up with the font font size and the colors uh, I think I set that to black yeah so the button at the moment doesn't really um, match uh, where's that managed design sale badge text that's it so um, yeah, so the cell badge color is the background. That's a little bit confusing because I would expect that to be background color, but um, it's the color. So just play around if something doesn't make sense as it should, and you'll figure it out. I'm going to set the text size to 16. I've changed the font. That's done. Nice and easy. And then on this section here, the, the title, the price, and the add to basket each have their own module settings. So we're going to click through, uh, edit the module settings in each of these quickly. So um, let's have a look. Design. I just need to change the font here, I think. I'm happy with that as it is. Um, I want to change the color of the the sales price and maybe the font and the font size and this is usually in design so we've got three here price text I'm just going to set them all to Source Sans Pro oh that's updated the whole of it okay so we only needed to go into the first price text so I've just changed the color I've changed the font nice and easy um, I won't play around with the size there because that should be a bit bigger than the regular text. And then here I just want to change the button again so that it's consistent with the same font and color scheme. So I'm guessing it's in design. Yeah, button. Once again we need to enable custom styles for the button to override. Uh, this is coming from the Divi theme. Um, so. What did I do here? I just gave it a black border and a grey background. So let's do that so that it's the same as the tutorial. Uh, so there's the grey background. Text is black already. I think we did reduce the text size actually. Yeah, that looks a bit neater. And the font. If we come down here, button font. The cool thing about Divi is that all of the fields mostly make sense. You can figure out what they all do without too much thinking about it. Uh, and I want to make the field selector uh, have a black background, actually, just so that it contrasts against the add to basket. Uh, Okay, I'm not actually adding, editing the field there. I don't think fields. Okay, there we go. So I wanted to make sure that was applying on the fields, not the whole background. And here, I'm just going to change the text font, like so. 
and make that black okay all good so as you can see nice and quick it's quite intuitive to use the Divi Builder this section here in the content I can enable or disable whatever I want to but I'm just going to keep that stuff as it is for now and all I want to do here because I think this is quite clean already is just um, change the font um, body font and I need to change the titles for the, the tabs up here so do the same thing set it to Source Sans Pro really simple and straightforward as you can see and then finally to match the design here and what I walked you through in the blog post I need to um, uh, just change the related products from a three to a two column so I'm just going to do that now where are we? we're here so content of related products, woo related product settings, product count four so two columns and we'll set that to just two like that and then all that we need to do to finish off is to change the the sale badge so we want to make it consistent with the other badges which means making the background black and the font needs to be Source Sans Pro and the font size 16 pixels and now that's exactly the same as the badge up here so it's nice and consistent uh, oh yeah one more thing that we need to do is to make sure the fonts on this related products and the titles are the same as well so again that's going to be in design and I'm going to look for title text and let's see if that does it yeah so title text because it's the title of the module and then I'm guessing there's another tab here for sell price text Source Sans Pro. Um, I want to edit that bit of text there as well. Sell badge, product title text. There we go. And there we go. Nice and simple. So, really easy to do visually. Uh, it's all clearly labeled in the Divi Builder. And you can see it happening in real time which is really really useful and really powerful for um, you know if you have a designer in house and you want them to to do stuff visually perhaps uh, have more control over how it works and use your developer for um, you know custom stuff uh, PHP JavaScript etc it gives you a bit more power might be a bit easier to use than something like Visual Composer perhaps um, just to wrap it off you want to make sure that you save uh, your work so first of all I'm going to click save to just save the progress and then we need to save it to the Divi library um, so new product layout so you want to make sure you save it to the library so that you can apply it to your product pages later so click save and there we go a nice simple walkthrough of how the Divi visual builder works let me know what you think in the comments if you'd like to see more content like this or perhaps a more uh, deep dive look into the, Visu the Divi Visual Builder and what you can do with it. Let me know and I'd be more than happy to do that. Make sure you subscribe for future videos and I hope you found this video useful.